guys today I have a cook with me remember the Italian pasta bake thing that I told you we made at my I guess it would be my niece because it's my nephew's wife my niece's party pampered chef party they used the instant pot pressure cooker that they have to make this recipe and it turned out really really good so I am doing a cook with me on it and show you how that's made let's get started We have the cast of the party here. We have some chicken breast. We have some panko breadcrumbs, whole wheat. We have some penny pasta. This is the carb friendly, although it's like one or two grams less carbs than the regular noodles, but oh well. I did save the scanner so I can scan it and figure out how many points it is. We have some garlic, reduced fat mozzarella, and I have the Newman's own tomato basil. This is the lowest point one that I found at my store, but I am going to be doing a cook with me in my Kasori pressure cooker with this stuff here. Okay guys, I have you up on the tripod. The first thing you're going to do is put your chicken breast inside your Kasori and I am going to give it a quick spray with this just so the chicken doesn't stick to the bottom. And these are pretty huge chicken breasts. I mean really huge. I'm going to put both of those in there and you can see they fill up the whole bottom. That's how big they are. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Just an FYI, this stuff is delicious smelling. My son loves it too. Really good from Bath and Body. So press saute and then press start and now you can see that it's heating up. I am also going to add some of this roasted garlic and herb. You can also buy the seasoning from my Pampered Chef Party. It's not the same one, but it is really good. And that's the one she used in this dish. And it is really good. I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic, kind of sprinkle it over each chicken breast. A heaping teaspoon. Because we like our garlic. I don't think she did that at the party, but there's what that looks like. I just put it right over the chicken breast. I measured it all out and this is what it looks like. So it's pretty full. And I actually pushed it down too as I was putting it in there. Not pushing it really firm, but yeah, it's pretty good. I had to get my tongue. This has been searing for just maybe two minutes, and I'm going to flip these over. Ooh, that was nice. It didn't stick at all. And I'm going to go ahead and season the other side just a little bit. Not as much as the other side was. I want a good flavor on that chicken. Okay, that should be good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add the sauce to it. Because you're supposed to add a little bit of water, I did add maybe three quarters cups of water in here and just to rinse out the jar. I'm gonna add that in there. She used two cups of the noodles. I'm only gonna use one. But I'm going to go ahead and dump this cheese in there now. And I'm gonna take a cup of noodles, put those in there. And then I'm going to take a quarter cup of these because that's a serving. It'll be easier to figure out in the points. So I'm going to take a quarter cup of these. Make sure you shake it off so it's even, not heaping. And I'm just going to sprinkle these right over the top. That's all you got to do. You're going to take the cover. Um, you're going to take the cover. The arrow's right here so you put the unlock there towards the arrow and then twist it and then you'll hear that sound. Now what I'm going to do, poultry 15 and I'm going to push on and now it's going to do that little thing that it did for the saute and it's pressurizing right now. Make sure that this is turned to the lock position. So there's a little lock right up here. Make sure that's turned to lock. 
because otherwise it's not going to pressurize for you. Okay, now this is going to take 15 minutes to cook after it's done pressurizing, and I'll bring you back when it is done. Okay, 15 minutes has went by longer because I had to wait for it to pressurize, and I'm going to depressurize this. Why you don't put your face near that. Button has popped down, and now we're going to open this up. Open it up away from you. And there you go. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? They did is they just shredded the chicken inside here, but I'm going to remove it because I don't want to disturb and chop up the noodles so much. So I'm going to take the chicken breasts out of here. It's got a nice browning on the bottom. That's good. And I'm going to put that on my board. The noodles are very done. <laughs> And now I'm going to shred these up. They're shredding very easily. So it'll be done really super fast. All right, there it is. And I'm going to plate it up here. And I'll tell you how many servings we got. We should get five servings out of this. So these are the servings that we got. We only got four servings. So this is nine smart points per bowl. So that's not too bad. This is really good. And there's a lot of chicken in there. So you could probably divvy it out into five servings and have it at seven points, which is probably what I'll try to do next time. But so far, nine points is what we had for tonight. And like I said, they're pretty full. These are the two cup serving size bowls from Pyrex. And they are a perfect size for us for a lunch or a dinner. That recipe was really good. We all liked it. The only thing I would do differently is maybe add some chicken broth instead of the water and add extra. So add maybe a cup instead of three quarters of a cup or even a cup and a quarter in there. It got a little um, brown on the bottom where hers at the Pampered Chef Party did not. So I like their instant cooker a lot better than the one I have here. Otherwise, I'd keep everything like I showed on the recipe. It was really good. It was delicious. The only thing, it got a little overdone at the bottom. And it took a little longer for my pressure cooker to pressurize this time, which I'm not sure if I did something wrong. There's possibly, it, it could possibly be that I did something wrong. It took like an extra long time. Usually it takes just a few minutes and this time it took like 15 minutes or so. But it was, it was delicious. I really liked it. It was definitely edible. <laughs> I, even though it got a little brown at the bottom, I just scraped that off. It came right up when I soaked it in some water. But yeah, it was really delicious otherwise. I would not change a thing except for the chicken broth instead of the water and add a little bit more. But we enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and if you try it out, let me know in the comments below and let me know how you guys liked it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to share this if you think it may help anybody. We will talk to you guys next time, and I'm still having trouble with my internet, so I will be up and running as soon as I possibly can. I think what I'm going to do is start making the What I Ate's again and upload them just when I can. I haven't made them in a while, and we had weigh-in, but I didn't get it posted because I didn't go into town. I did not lose or gain anything. I stayed the same. Corey did not weigh in because he had to work. So those are our results. But I'll go through them all this next Saturday. We're going to go and I will definitely do an updated weigh-in video at that time. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Don't wanna